What is going on YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber, me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Nike Zoom Generation First Game Edition, man. Coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of an all leather upper and then you have like a little bit of mesh in the shoe as well. This white part is where the leather comes in, pretty nice sturdy leather. Um, I believe that this shoe can really, you know, take a beating as far as like, you know, wearing this every day and then not looking crazy. In the toe box right here, they have this fox um, crocodile leather. It's definitely not real. And where this red is, this is where the nylon comes in. Um, if this was like a lighter color, I could see this really getting dirty over time. I mean, even though it's still red and dark, I can see if you get like dirt in this area, it's really not coming off unless you really know how to clean shoes. But anyways, you got the white and navy swoosh in there. And getting towards the back of the shoe, you got the white with the garnet. And this part right here is like a shiny navy. Like when I did the on foot, I took this part off, but I just kept this on until I wear the shoe. But like this is made of like a metallic um, like paint or whatever. And this chips off over time, as you can see on the sign. Like, I don't know why Nike hasn't made technology that can make this um, material not flake off after a few wears, which is beyond me. But anyways, on the medial side of the shoe, it's exactly like the lateral side of the shoe. Getting towards the lacing system of the shoe, your standard LeBron Zoom Generation lacing. You got that Nike check right here in navy. And as you get towards the top of the tongue, it says LeBron up in here. I don't know if you can really see it. Then you got the LeBron logo. And then you got the nice little navy hits on the eyelid right here. And then another great thing about this shoe is that this sock liner is like a little bit silky. And then on the inside, it got um, 11.5 2003 stitched in there. That's the date of the first game that LeBron James played against the um, uh, Sacramento Kings. And on the insole of the shoe, the insole is all garnet and it says LeBron painted in white. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, I would suggest going a half size up if you have a fat or a wide foot. If you have a normal to a narrow foot, you can definitely go true to size in these shoes. These shoes retail at $180 and how I came across my pair was um, when these retro like a month ago or a month and a half ago, I definitely wanted this shoe. Um, I tried my luck on sneakers. They sold out. I didn't really know of any um, Chicago based places that had this shoe and you know, once these sold out, resale was a little bit high. Like they, people was charging like $225, $250. And once again, with all the bronze, anything over size 11, 11 and a half was getting taxed on. Anything under that, you could have just waited or you probably can get them under retail. But anything over 11 and a half, man, they always either do overtax you or they hit you for the retail. I don't know why this happens with all. Um, Brian or the shoe store in Alabama called Soul Play Bama. They made a post saying that they had these in store and only in store um, I DM them and asked them if they had an extra size 11 and a half. Can I get the invoice? They sent me the invoice. I paid it So with tax and I'm um, shipping I paid like $200 for these which was nice because once again I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle of um, paying resale So I'm glad I was able to get these shoes in my collection for retail when these dropped initially like in 2003 2004 um, I don't know if this was like a quick strike or if it was like very limited or what because like when I really started getting back into the um, game like collecting shoes again I wanted to buy these because I like the colorway and like people was charging like four hundred five hundred dollars for this shoe and I'm like now nah, I can't pay that much for a, a 10 year old shoe at the time so you know I just waited and I waited I'm lucky I was able to get this retro also another thing about like LeBron shoes that like kind of threw me off is I don't know if it's either Nike LeBron or the Cavs that made this decision but Every time LeBron dropped the debut shoe, the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, whatever, they really did not give you a Cleveland Cavalier stream colorway. Like everything was either red, black and red, or you know, just some color that didn't match the Cleveland Cavaliers jerseys. This was the only one that I remember, and also um, the, I want to say the LeBron 13s. That was the only other model that one of the initial colorways for the shoe when they dropped was um cleveland cavaliers theme this garnet navy and white shoe pops with the um old school cleveland cavaliers jerseys and i like the old school cleveland cavaliers jerseys they shouldn't have never changed and i like the fact that it really pops with this jersey i don't know why they never decided to drop any real cleveland cavaliers theme color shoes and he played for the cavaliers for like what eight nine years that was crazy in my opinion now without further ado his on for a look of the nike zoom generation first game edition i can't wait on you i gotta go i gotta go i can't wait on you 
can't wait on you. I gotta go, I gotta go. I can't wait on you. Saha, yeah. They say, where you going, Prince? Boy, I'm on the move. I'm trying to get a check like the logo on your shoes. For oh, that's a cue. Solo in the Buick with a stick. This ain't a lick. That's a no-no, I'm a shoe. Dolo in the coupe with the Soho for my suit. I can't be in Manolo, got a Rolo photo shoot. Made a rollover in minutes like my Motorola do. Every polo ever invented. Got the coat on plus the boost. Brownstone town home like the Huxley boost. Fly straight to the Bahamas, nigga, motherfucker cruise. I want a college bitch who'd like to fucking chug a brew. Suck and chuck the dudes before I drug my luggage too. The airport, I don't have a care for anything. Cause lately, baby, I've been getting bread more. Stay fly, the first artist out the Air Force. Therefore, I can't wait on you. I gotta go, I gotta go. I got money, I got As always, I wanna thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite colorway in the Nike Zoom generations. It could be these, it could be the debuts, it could be the SVSMs, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we could chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.